Hello, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passionate Cam again. We're going to continue on where we were in the last Passion Cam, so if you didn't catch the previous one, catch that one. We were talking about uh, subtle signs that you may see early on when a person is developing Alzheimer's disease. And though the subtle signs may be very subtle, and it takes you really knowing a person sometimes to catch those subtleties. For example, say you live in California, your mother lives in Alaska. And you call mom, say how mom's doing, and mom kind of has it down pat. You say, mom, how you doing? Mom says, I'm fine. What you do today? I oh, watch my soap operas. What you eat today? Oh, I had a sandwich for lunch and soup and this and that. Oh, where are you going to go tomorrow? Well, I think I got church tomorrow. So mom has a patent, patent answer um, for your questions. You're not there, so you don't really know that what she said is true or not true. But it seems like it's true. I mean, that's what she's done for the last 20 years. And she says she's still doing those same things. So you don't really notice it in that setting. If you happen to be there, you might notice it. But what would you do in that setting differently? You could ask some more details about, the, about what you asked. Say she said she's gonna go to church tomorrow. You say, well, where's church? Uh, what time does church start? Well, is who's the pastor now? The questions that she'll have to dig a little deeper to give you an answer to. Or say she says, I had, um, I just finished with lunch. Okay, what did you have for lunch? Well, did you have chips with that? Or did you put mayonnaise on the sandwich? Et cetera, et cetera. Just asking more detailed questions that's going to require them to think a little more about what they did or what they didn't do. And if indeed they are developing Alzheimer's disease, what will happen is uh, they won't be able to answer those questions. They'll answer them maybe with a fudge answer. You may say, um, you know, what did you put on your sandwich? Well, you know, I put, uh, I don't know, tomato sauce. Uh, or things like that. They may just begin to give answers that aren't quite right. Well, was it tomato sauce or was it ketchup? Well, you know, most people without dementia will say ketchup. But if they're developing dementia, maybe they can't think of the word ketchup. So maybe they'll say tomato sauce or things like that. So you'll, they, they may be very subtle, particularly early on. And you'll just have to pay close attention to details. The, the time process for Alzheimer's disease is thought to be somewhere between uh, 3 and 20 years. If diagnosed really early to the end of the lifespan. Uh, we presently don't have a cure, so it will be a constant downhill slope. Sometimes it's a downhill fast, sometimes it's a downhill slow, and we'll talk about more of that next time. So, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Camp. Be blessed and have a wonderful day.